Justice Ahmed Mohammed of the Federal High Court in Abuja has withdrawn from the fundamental rights enforcement suit filed by the convener of revolution now protest, Omoyele Shore. Mr. Shore is seeking an order for his unconditional release from the custody of the state security services. TVC News Judiciary Correspondent Celestina Iria reports. On 6 December, Mr. Showare was rearrested by the operatives of the DSS, barely 24 hours of being released from the agency's custody. This prompted the filing of a suit against the DSS. Justice Ahmed Mohammed Seaton, as a vacation judge of the Federal High Court, ruled he could not hear Mr. Showare's case in view of the various publications by Sahara Reporters, a media outfit owned by the applicant, wherein he was accused of taking a bribe in a case to influence the outcome. The case in question is a trial of a former governor of Benue State, Gabriel Suswan, who is now being prosecuted by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission before another judge of the court, Justice Ukun Abang. Justice Mohammed said that the reports by Sahara reporters in 2016 and 2019 forced him to withdraw from the ex-governor's trial. He said the situation puts him in a position whereby if he rules in favor of Mr. Shore, it should be perceived as having been blackmailed by Mr. Shore to so rule and that in the event he ruled against the activist, he will be perceived as being vengeful. He then ordered the case file to be sent back to the chief judge of the Federal High Court, Justice John Sowell, for reassignment to another judge. And that this was what happened in the case of Bashir Remke Abiola and the Federal Republic of Nigeria, whereby eight justices of the Supreme Court had to recuse themselves, you know, from hearing any of the appeals arising from the Abiola cases, you know, and that therefore, you know, uh, even though it starts to do with the liberty of our client, unfortunately, you know, uh, we had no choice in the matter, you know. And all the council agreed that the best thing for his lordship to do, you know, uh, was to rec recuse himself, you know, uh, and that was what happened today. Omoye Leshuare, alongside Alawale Bakari, is facing charges of treasonable felony filed by the DSS against them. Celestina Iria. CVC News, Abuja.